My part one, um, I illustrated a lot of things about broken families and kids and love and compassion. I'm still sitting in the same spot. Um, I haven't moved actually, except I've changed something with my neck. Um, so, yeah, anyway, um, another topic has arise. Um, look, um, honestly, I, I, I feel, I, I feel, I feel compassionate for, uh, for families that are going through a lot. Some people are going through a lot more than others, and uh, some people are going a lot more than others. Okay, I don't know what the level of stresses of uh, depression or anxiety uh, that most people have today, uh, but I have my own, and my own is enough to put me down and tie me up, and most days I am not understanding, and I just want to be alone and quiet in my room, and just shut out the world just to myself now all those problems that we have um you know we have illnesses you know we have diseases we get sick uh, mentally emotionally physically you know, and, and sometimes we are all looking for ways to try to improve our lifestyle and the way we live we want to do better. We want to better ourselves. We want to better those. We want to better ourselves for the people around us. We want to do good to please ourselves. We want. We're seeking something within us that is going to help us cope. So all of us, we are all in this massive, big uh, testimonial journey and trying to find what is suitable for each and every one of us. So really, humanity is really striving towards something brand new each day that really enlightens my spirit because that is exactly how the world should be now it is it is a great pleasure for me to announce that I am very proud of humanity after everything that we've been through we are still thriving we never stop we don't give up um, you know even the rulership itself the government around the world they're all human beings like us some crooked people, criminal, you know, the things that they've done in their lives, you know, is, is, is unjustifiable. And I really wanted to just send out this message to the world to say that I'm very proud of each and every one of you for doing such a great job. Okay? Nothing comes easy in this world. And so nobody should be judging each other to a point where somebody feels put down, broken down, left alone, to cry alone with no help. That is not human-like because it says in the book of, of life that, that humankind should be kind to one another. The name humankind means something. It means kindness, greatness, goodness loveliness we are beautiful amazing creatures we were put down to this earth to start something beautiful we're here to create to learn you know to make this a better place for each and every one of us we're here to fulfill the world we're here to have children our children are gonna have kids they're also gonna fill the world so we all have a big role and a part to play in this world and I feel very compassionate with that from the bottom of my heart I think everyone has been doing the best they can I don't see why I should be saying people are horrible because people are not really meant to be horrible. I'm, well, I guess we have those days where we are horrible to each other. I guess that is where the imperfection falls into place. That's where it all tangles up. And we just all we have to do is reason with, it, with each other. Reasoning is a great tool, it's a very powerful tool. It's like a supernatural tool that was given to us, passed down from generations, given to us by the gods themselves. So reasoning is a very powerful tool. If we can use that once we are in conflict with each other, you know, but I understand we have anxiety problems and sometimes when anxiety takes a hold of you, grabs onto your chest and you can't breathe, you feel like you need a bath or asthmatic, you're about to gag and choke from your own thoughts, sometimes you just feel like you are just going to hit your head on the wall oh my god I pray somebody saves me from that that kind of stuff can be very horrible to us that is the problem we are facing and if all of us have these problems we should really really start feeling more compassionate to each other and knowing that those problems are the reason why we are like that so we should start treating each other very kindly and helping each other when someone is feeling like that because it could be anyone it could be you it could be me 
It could be anybody today. You know what I'm saying? So, we also have, three, oh, I'm sorry, twice. Ah, uh, damn it. You know, I'm sorry. Like, okay, please don't do it again. And if you're out of, the, um, out of line, then, you know, you can use a self-punishment tool to, um, to fix that. You know, I, I self-punish myself sometimes for done something too many times, too many wrongs. I, I self-punish myself. I would also, sometimes I, I would not eat for days. Like, I will just be thinking about what I did and I'm oh God, I, and I'll make sure the next time that I am back on my feet, I will make sure that it doesn't happen again. So we really have to be compassionate with one another and show love even when, even when we are upset. We need to know that we all have that up and down feeling. We all have it. You know, nobody's perfect. You know, just because somebody rolls their eyes a certain way doesn't mean that they're trying to steal your books. You know what I'm saying? It could just mean that that's just what their eyes are doing. Sometimes it gets out of control. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I really feel compassionate for humanity and I feel like there's so much more to us than what we are. Um, yes, uh, on that topic, uh, let's try to uh, reinstate our. Our, our spirit rather than our thoughts because our thoughts are worst anyway like they say you can't trust your mind you can't trust your brain your brain can trick your mind or your bright or your mind can trick your brain so you really gotta stay close to your heart and stay with the spirit because those two things are the only things that can really bring you back when you're lost have you ever heard of someone losing their minds a lot of people have lost their minds today. Some people are on the streets talking to themselves. Some people are talking to a tree. I've seen a lady talk to a tree and, you know, praying to a tree. And they, she thought she was some kind of a monk. And she says, this is the tree of life. Uh, this is going to give me life. Uh, the tree is going to... How are you going to talk to a tree? You don't talk back. The tree, yes. Trees are amazing. That's about it. Yeah. We should not chop them down and destroy them because they help us breathe fresh air and give us shade. You know what I'm saying? So we, we really need to look into that. Uh, guys, uh, there's so much more going on here. I, I really don't know what else to say. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube video and like and comment. Um, that would be amazing. Don't just watch my videos and just, you know, help me, I help you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, really, it's it's like a head banging. You know, it's, it's crazy out here, and I understand that. Um, we really need to reinstate our spirit and our hearts. Uh, that's the only way we're going to fight our minds and our, and our thoughts. Our thoughts are the reason why we do so many bad things, you know. If we all just wish for, we're all looking for purity. Everybody wants purity in their minds. So I suppose that is the one thing that I was trying to fulfill here is purity. And uh, just stay close to your loved ones. Um, parents that are divorced, broken homes and families, you all need to come back together. You all need to put aside your egos and your problems aside for your loved ones. The only way that these kids are going to feel loved is if you all are kind to one another. So peace out.